the next tab that we have available to us is the script tab this tab allows you to check the javascript file that is associated with the page you can debug the page you can see all the scriptings that is available on the page so right now i have one test script file that i have and this page as you can see has a bit of javascript in it all it is doing is declaring a variable setting the time uh, getting the hours of the time and if the time happens to be less than 10 that means it is morning time it just displays a message saying good morning into the paragraph tag that we have available it's a very simple straightforward file so i'm going to simply open this one inside of a i have that file here i'm just going to open that so now this is the rendering of that file so i can simply click on try button and it will just display the message depending on the current time so when i click on that it displays good day because this code has been executed now few things to notice here is i've got the menu here that displays all the files that we have available so right now there's one file that we have here now if i want i can also debug this code i can hit a breakpoint here by clicking on the uh, line item here and when i click on the try it button it runs and it breaks here if i hover my mouse over the time variable it now displays what the uh, current time is it's 15 hours it is displaying in the 24 hours format so it's 15 hours i can also step into the code or step over the code so i can let's i can use f10 shortcut key so this is the code that it is executing and on the right hand side we have the function name that is the my function the time variable displaying the value that we have as you can see greeting line is currently being executed but it does not have any variable assigned to it hence it is showing the undefined value here so if i click on the step over it would have some value on it so now we can see the value good day being assigned to it and it is being shown here it is on the right hand side we have got the breakpoint tab it displays the number of breakpoints that i have available or the number of lines that i have set as breakpoint right now i have only one so if i want i can also make the line number 17 as the uh, breakpoint so when i do that it just displays that here uh, that's the purpose of it now there's one thing i would like to show you here uh, let me first unbookmark or remove the breakpoint from these two rather and if i go over to the new tab and go to the microsoft website and here we are already inside of the script tag so with the script tab selected you see the drop down menu here this displays all the javascript files associated with this page so you can see uh, the list of javascript file and if you want to edit something or if you want to see the uh, source code behind the javascript file you can just simply click on that file and it displays everything that javascript file contains and now if you look at the first tab that is selected here that is the watch uh, tab uh, if i click on the sub menu here it displays all the options that you can toggle on and off show user defined properties show dom properties uh, show closure and all these various properties that you can toggle on and off and when you do that the the list will reflect the, uh, the selection that you have made so watch panel actually displays the value of variables as a list in this panel it shows the values of those variables that are currently in a scope so for example if a certain line of code is being executed it will just display that that piece of code that is currently in scope and we also have the stack trace this panel shows the stack of the function calls of the current function 
and breakpoint as I mentioned earlier displays a uh, list of all breakpoints that we have attached with our code using the firebug. 